So I know you're heading off on your summer sabbatical, uh, if uh, that's the right way to put it, to Nantucket. I'm, what else is on your radar screen you'd put on ours? You know, obviously we haven't addressed some of the big issues like AI that I know you look at. Um, anything in terms of what you'll be thinking about? Uh, I'll, I'll have a lot more to say about AI when I come back. Um, there's a really big piece I'm working on that'll be coming out in early yep. September, and I think we'll have some interesting conversations there. Um, but uh, certainly focused very heavily um, on the U.S.-China relationship, on where it's going, where it's not going. I mean, you know, Kissinger managed to get over there at uh, 100 years of age, met with Xi Jinping, uh, but uh, we can't get defense-defense conversations going on between the two. Uh, that is going to get hotter uh, as we get more into the U.S. Uh, political slash electoral season. Um, and, uh, and of course, uh, we'll also be coming up on the COP summit in Abu Dhabi. And that means we're going to talk a lot more about climate change, about whether or not we can get any movement um, on agreements on methane, about where the world is heading in their carbon emission mm -hmm. uh, pr promises um, and commitments. Um, you know, uh, they, the world is moving faster and faster towards renewable energy. That's great. But as that happens every day, I mean, if we're seeing disturbing records on an unprecedented fashion on U.S. democracy, we're seeing only more of that in terms of the nature of our climate. Um, and I mean, you know, you've got uh, ocean water off of uh, South Florida that's 101 degrees. You've never seen that. Uh, before you've got over 110 degree weather um, in Phoenix for 20 days in a row. You've never seen that before. You've got overnight lows at 93. Uh, we can deal with it. Uh, I mean, the deaths, the heat deaths are going up. They're still very small. Nothing. We're not talking about COVID level deaths, but um, this is a baseline. It's it's yeah. not the hottest ever. It's the coolest. It's going to be going forward, um, and that's the concern. And, uh, and and are, are we going to make enough of a dis difference fast enough to prevent this from becoming cataclysmic, cataclysmic for hundreds of millions or, or billions of people? Um, co uh, the COP annual summit process is the time to focus on that. Um, and uh, I, look, I'm very proud as a New Yorker, um, the United States uh, set up the United Nations. It's one of the things that uh, the Americans have done that I think we should be proudest of. It also makes New York a uniquely global city. Uh, you know, we've got uh, a, a, many millions of people from all over the world that come to the city, but also heads of state from all over the world that come to the United Nations in September. They don't come anywhere else. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and and appropriately so. And it's something that we should be leaning into. It's at a time when there are so there's so much fragmentation politically and there are so many global problems. The U.N. has become more important than it ever has been in the past. And I'll certainly be spending an awful lot of time getting prepared uh, for the so-called high-level week and for everything that's happening around that agenda. Great. Well, sounds like a good way to spend one's vacation. And I look forward to continuing the conversation when you're back. Thanks, Ian. My pleasure. Good. Talk to you soon.